Hello and welcome to the 21st tutorial in the CodeCast 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at fade in using the fade out action. This tutorial, since you've done tutorial 5, if you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project. There'll be another link in the in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Okay, okay. Before we start coding, the fade out action it basically allows you to fade a particular item over a set period of time that you specify to zero from its current opacity. So if its current opacity is full, and you set put three seconds, you'll go to zero in three seconds. Or if it's half opacity, you'll go to zero in specified amount of time as well. So yeah, to do this, first of all, we just need to create an action. So auto, I'm gonna call it action equal fade out colon colon create and now we just specify the actual time we want it to fade out oh, three seconds semicolon and now we just need to run this action so my sprite run action now we specify the action we want to run and now we can actually just run our application There you go, over a period of three seconds, the sprite faded out, which is pretty cool. So you could have maybe instead of having transitions between menus, or it's, it's still a transition, but you could have your own custom transitions of so stuff moving about, maybe stuff fading, individual items fading. And that's it for this tutorial. The next tutorial, we're going to look at repeating using the repeat action. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. There will be a link in the description to our email or just comment or message us and we will get back to you. All the required links for the source code will be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.